Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Queen's Hall, located in the federal capital, Port of Spain. And now, the first band, his orchestra. Certainly bringing on an old favorite, loved by all, as a foxtrot tempo, Oh, Danny Boy. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, the ever popular mighty Crystal, and Crystal is come to sing a very tremendous number entitled Old King Cole. One evening, children talking, Christo listening. One evening, children talking, it was after school time. I hear them rearranging nursery rhymes. A little boy about ten years old, hear what he rhyme about old King Cole. He told me old King Cole was a merry old soul, living in his kingdom. He called for his pipe, a banana ripe, and a lovely bottle of white rum. He sit down on his throne, sucking a chicken bone, and he call on his fiddler's tree. He pull away the fiddle, he jumped in the middle, and they went down Donkey City. Yes, sir. It was amusing, I declare. I pretended I didn't hear a little tomboy about eight. Anxious and couldn't wait, put up she for finger. Talking to your big sister, she started to rhyme out so loud and hard. Yeah, what she rhyme about old Mother Hubbard? She told me old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard and caught epilepsy. She knew very well the cupboard was bare. She's stingy just like my granny. If I was the dog looking by Mother Hubbard and I didn't get supper that night, I would have sleep in the cupboard and wait for Mother Hubbard and take off. She knows with a bite. Go! Bam, 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 bam. I was late for work down at the store, but I waited to hear two more. The biggest girl child in the crowd jump up and shout aloud. Since I was three years old, I've been hearing this story told. I heard it first from my uncle Bill. Yeah, her conception of Jack and Jill, which she told me Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. I believe Jack went up there to molest the neighbor daughter. Jill was carrying the pail on she head and Jack didn't help her at all. So she dashed on Jack, put him in the back and he saw the tumble and fall. Well, to tell you this, this one beat all. A little boy named Paul, only five years of age, jumped up in a race since I was five years old. I've been hearing the story told. No silver he gets so gold, but he told me he wants some gold. He told me old Jack Smith had a pretty ship, but he made a mistake. He knew very well when he driving his ship, he shouldn't drink from a little fruit cake. The daddy was there, I sure that he ain't like to say, Jack Smith near die. He barely started to hurt him, and he face turned pink. And that is why Jack Smith ship stink. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to Vin Cardinal, still on the Bandemonium session by Lord Velody, Vin Cardinal and his orchestra.
Now to add a little touch of romance into the whole thing, here is the mighty bummer. And he's talking all about love letters. The bummer, please. Yes, this one happened recently with a young lady and me. I say it happened recently with a young lady and me. Mm. We went up at Maracas Bay. Imagine how the girl display her lovely figure with a perfect nose. I get the jitters to see her pose. As we were walking on the beach that night and we were doing everything we thought was right. We were romancing. I'm sure you understand, but we were writing love letters on the sand. Uh. Oh Yes, when I saw her lovely skin, yes, I took her for a swim. While she was swimming to and fro, then I took a little dive below. Then I felt a sudden grip, a little just below me hip. I got so frightened, well, I want to know. It was a catfish that bite me too. As we were walking in the bright moonlight and we were doing everything we thought was right. We were romancing. I'm sure you understand, but we were writing love letters on the sun. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Yes, up and down the sandy beach, we played a game called Stick Like Leech. She said that she was feeling cold, so we did a little rock and roll. Then the waves began to break. I trembled like a real earthquake. She gave me something with a magic touch. You can't believe me, that was much too much. As we were walking 
on the beach that night and we were doing everything we thought was right we were romancing i'm sure you understand but we were writing love letters on the sun ah. Ah, yeah. after that we had to part but she really broke my heart i beg her darling please remain just to ride a couple waves again but she kissed me and said goodbye i will love you till the day i die keep on writing every day to me but post your letters on the deep blue sea as we were walking in the bright moonlight and we were doing everything we thought was right we were romancing i'm sure you understand but we were writing love letters on the sun Now time for Pete De Vloot and his Dutchie Boys Orchestra. Pete De Vloot and the Dutchie Boys, please.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the final part of Bandemonium. Surely, indeed, we'd like to welcome everyone here once again, and believe me, it's a good show. May I say that we have the distinguished pleasure of having in our audience that daughter of the West Indies, particularly Trinidad, and directly Tunapuna, Miss Winifred Atwell. Thank you, Miss Atwell. Here's the man responsible for Bandemonium, he himself, my handsome friend, the Lord Melody. Hi, Melo. Hi, Holly. How is everything? I think it's all fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and here are the March of Dimes to open on our little show with a pop number, Staggerly. The night was clear And the moon was yellow And the leaves came tumbling down I was standing at the corner when I heard my I can't let you go with that. You've won all my money and my brand new house. And how to catch all this going for? And then nobody saw when he came back to the door. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on with the contest. Band number one. Right here for you, Mr. Fitz Vaughn Bryan and his orchestra. His first number in the cha-cha-cha tempo. Chattanooga Choo Choo.
Mr. Fitz Von Bryan and his orchestra on Lord Melody's Ballamonium. Thank you, Brian. Right here, up front and center, the Lord Cristo, and he's telling you about the quarrels with neighbors over a radiogram. <laughs> Yes, my two neighbors rebel, Iris and Mabel, to Jezebel rebel. Iris and Mabel, Mabel trusts a radiogram when she was working with Uncle Sam. This morning the daily take back the thing, jealous Iris jump up and start to sing. Girl, I didn't know, I didn't know so. Well, I now could sing, they take back the thing. Well, I'm glad that gram used to drive me mad. No more close your eyes, Janet, and no more Mr. Ben Wolfpam. Well, Mabel jump outside. She vexation couldn't hide. I say the woman going mad, guinea pepper sprinkled in the yard. You malicious so and so, I risk your low mash me toe. I risk pretend she didn't hear, and this time she sing it more loud and clear. Girl, I didn't know. I didn't know so. Well, I now could sing. I'm glad they take back the thing. Neighbor chick, this gram used to make me sick. No more ice again. No more Mr. Ben will dig. Yes, sir. Yes, when she tell me Bell that. Mabel hang on to she plat. She was washing her tub of dirty clothes. Mabel give Iris a fleet of blows. Girl, I got money in the bank. Iris, you blankety blank. Although she had Iris back on the ground. Iris continue singing this song. Girl, I didn't know. I didn't know so. Well, I now could sing. They take back the thing. Well, at last. That thing used to set me insane. No more fat again before you pay Alexander Bay. Go! Yes, Iris' husband come from work. Hungry and he wasn't making joke. Well, she didn't prepare no lunch, so he drank a pint of planters. Punch, get drunk, and he started to be she. Oh, lad, unmercifully, boy, she started again. Maybe this time with the sweet refrain. Girl, I didn't know. I didn't know so. Neighbor lick she, give she too for me. You just mind she, and it is your privilege. She was abusing me, but I got my husband food in my fridge. The Bandemonium Show, and let's move on to Pete the Brute and the Dutchy Boys Orchestra from the hilly, oily south.
backed up by the March of Dimes, let's introduce the man himself, Lord Melody, ice in your ice. Really does amuse me. Yes, Street cry in this city. Really does amuse me. Like sharpening knife and scissors. Sharpening knife and scissors. And piwa, piwa, piwa. Mommy got your pee wee wee wa. But the nicest cry of them all is when I hear the Iceman ball. Eyes, eyes. Cool eyes. Hard ice, all kind of ice. Ice, mm. ice, ice in your eyes. The young people favorite, the man with the bells and the jellet, known to one and all. Marby press and snowball, and planting to boil and fry. Planting to boil and fry. And bottles, bottles, lady any bottles today. I don't care where nobody say the ice man got the best love way. Eyes, eyes, cool eyes, hard eyes, all kind of eyes. It's nice to remember my la minute round the savannah in his short pants and washy kong shouting fish trash all the day long and sweet and salt pay me sweet and salt pay me and poisson poisson fresh fish let me get your nice nice fresh fish I don't care where nobody say the ice man got the best la way here in shouting eyes eyes Cool eyes, hard eyes, all kind of eyes. Ice in your eyes. Ice, ice in your eyes. Race day in Arima, you used to hear the man with the chana. Long time by the market, you could catch the man with the pallet. And did somebody call? Did somebody call? And soldering, soldering, let me get your nice ice soldering. I don't care where nobody say the ice man got the best love we hear in shout. Eyes, eyes, cool eyes, hard eyes, all kind of eyes. Ice in your eyes, ice, ice in your eyes. And here is Fitz Vaughn, final number on this evening's contest as he plays in Calypso Tempo, Mustafa.
Van Brown and the orchestra making his appearance on the final selection of Lord Melody's Bandemonium. <laughs> 